Is the Earth really overheating? Are you to blame for the eventual destruction of the planet? Or is there something you don't know that's being used to make you believe that humans are the problem? Where you live makes all the difference. Buildings, traffic, airplanes, and virtually everything we use every day give off heat. The combination of these sources creates artificially higher temperatures within urban and suburban areas that can be significantly hotter than in the rural areas surrounding the cities. That's why it's called an urban heat island. Weather sensors located within the urban heat islands are exposed to the heat coming from the city, which artificially increases their temperature readings anywhere from 1 to 10 degrees, and sometimes even more. Take, for example, Washington, D.C., where mid-city temperatures can be more than 10 degrees higher than the surrounding parklands and waterways. In other words, you're not measuring the actual temperature of the atmosphere anymore, but rather the temperature of the air plus the heat coming from the metropolitan infrastructure. That makes temperature readings from sensors located within an urban heat island unusable for a realistic record of long-term temperature trends. And almost 90% of the temperature stations are influenced by an urban heat island. Back when we first started keeping temperature records, care was taken to ensure that temperatures would be accurate by setting standards for where official weather readings were taken. Thermometers were permanently placed inside vented shelters over a grassy surface, well away from any heat source that might influence the temperature readings. But as cities grew and expanded, weather reporting stations that were originally sited correctly gradually became surrounded by new heat sources created by the expansion of cities and towns. As a result, temperature readings from instruments now located within and near these urban heat islands are warmer than before, and those are the temperatures being used to give you the false impression that temperatures are becoming unusually hotter and that the frequency of dangerous heat waves are on the increase. Do urban heat islands really affect the climate? The answer is no. The heat generated by cities dissipates once you get away from the metropolitan area. 98% of the Earth is still either rural, ocean, or desert, with very few or no humans at all living there. And all of that air is still heated, as it has been forever, by natural sources, like that little ball of fire in the sky called the sun. The experts at the CO2 Coalition are ready to help you understand how our climate really works. Check out our website now.